successfully trap a wild animal, there are careful instructions that need to be followed. As you can see, I've decided to ignore all of them. Perfect. Today, I'm going to catch whatever lives around here and eats lollipops. Hmm, good luck with that, Rubes. Meanwhile, at Carnarvon Station Reserve in remote Queensland, armed with big hats and binoculars, these country kids are going about catching animals the proper way, spending a couple of days as bush detectives. Bush detective is someone that goes out and tracks little mammals by using their poo, their tracks. They're hoping to safely and carefully catch a critter or two to help calculate native animal populations in the area. We're going out to trap some small mammals. And Alison, the ecologist, is showing them the ropes. We look at the shape, the size, the colour. She studies plants and animals and how they interact. Oh, the tawdy frog bear. But catching an animal is pretty tricky work. First, to tempt a hungry possum or bush mouse, these detectives make some delicious oat and honey balls. We're the secret ingredient. Anchovies, they're tiny smelly fish. Ew. Then the balls get dropped into the box traps. When the animal crawls inside in search of the sweet smelling snack, the door closes and traps it inside. Box traps are designed to catch animals without hurting them. Finding the right spot for a trap is important. It has to be placed somewhere an animal is likely to wander past. This is a great spot to set a trap. And what we would do is place it somewhere along the, either in the runway or alongside the log. We're going to put him on the walkway. The next morning, it's back to the traps. But... Nothing. They're all empty. Alison says that doesn't mean there are no animals living here. It just means these guys might have to search for evidence of them. We have to look for other signs that maybe the area is being used by an animal. Like markings on trees or animal poo on the ground. All in all, these kids have enjoyed the challenge. It's all about wildlife and what I want to be when I grow up is a wildlife carer. Oh, so cute.